we get the all the facts sorted out, Buzz Wheeler and <coughs> and I are going to get together as soon as the is complete, and that probably won't be till the latter part of the morning. I think we've got several things we want to look at first. Uh, see if uh, there seems to be a conflict between the what the the Chinese radar was uh, shows and what our own shows as far as whether where exactly where these planes were and where this incident took place. There's also a question as to whether we engaged in hot pursuit over Hainan. And uh, there's a, a question also that we always get into as to who jumped whom in this situation. So um, I thought as soon as we get everything uh, cleared away, as far as the information as hard as we can, we can decide then just how we want to handle this. My own view is that uh, we want to make uh, clear to the Chinese if there's any ambiguity about the facts as they come out that uh, this didn't, was not the beginning of a, uh, a closing in on them that they might have, have uh, thought was the was set by your speech and their reaction to it. Uh, so we don't want to get them moving uh, unnecessarily if, uh, if there's a possibility of confusion. The British could pass that word along depending on what the facts show at the end of the morning. Uh, then we've also got a problem of how to handle the domestic reaction here and actually what we propose to do about it. But I think before we try to make any hard decisions, we've got to be a lot more sure of the facts than we are at the moment because they're pretty confused. Uh, so if it's agreeable with you, I thought that after uh, Cy Vance and Buzz and I have gone over the facts at the end of the morning when they're as hard as they can be, then uh, we could get in touch with you and uh, and give you what recommendations we had. That's, that's good. That's good. I got a relatively free morning. I was going home about 1, 2 o'clock today. I rather doubt the advisability of that. Well, I think I'd reserve that decision, Mr. President, until uh, so we see just what it looks like. But uh, I think the main thing we want to be sure is that we don't, uh, there isn't any misinterpretation in Fei Ping of what this was meant. And, uh, I want to be sure as, you see, we've been sending drones over Hainan, and uh, so the record isn't as, uh, as clear as it might be. It's conceivable that they thought that these planes were headed for Hainan, as the drones have been going over the south part of that island. And, uh, also, I think we want to take a look at just how we handle the deployment of these planes in the future, so that uh, there is a question of our possibly being over that airspace we avoided. Technically, if we went over the airspace, it could invoke the, uh, the Sino-Soviet Treaty, and we could be damn careful about that, too. So we'll have a, I think we'll have a pretty good picture by, say, 12, uh, 12 o'clock, or possibly even a little earlier, if they get all the analysis done by then. And I think you might reserve the question as to what you do this weekend until uh, we have it. Oh, I, I sure hope we don't get too much information too quick up that Senate before they pass that education. Well, we've got to, uh, so far as I know, the uh, radio has played this as an attack by unidentified planes. Now, I think it's pretty clear that the that Saigon will, will, the story will be out there sooner or later. That, uh, the yes, if we can just get by, I imagine, until 12 or 1 o'clock, we'll have our bill passed unless these Joe Clarks get up and start speaking again on their knowledge of Vietnam, and uh, we got a meeting at 10, and we got a good chance, but I'll just wait to hear from you. Thank you. Well.